Hello there everyone, welcome again to Time and Tide, my name is Borna and today we bring you Fortis's latest spacefaring adventure with the Stratoliner. So this is the latest and greatest as far as Fortis's space watches go. They went as far not only developing a brand new watch, but a brand new movement as well, which was space tested. We did some coverage on that by, by yours truly, of course. And yeah, we're taking a hands-on look at this brand new column wheel chronograph. So taking this one off, we'll go through some of the dimensions. You've got a 41 millimeter case with a 50.4 millimeter lug to lug and a 14.9 millimeter thickness. So it wears quite large on the wrist, which is made more apparent by these long strut-like lugs that don't really curve around the, the wrist very much. So it wears sort of flat and quite tall on the wrist. Now with 200 meters of water resistance, not only will this do well in the sky, but I'm assuming it'll do quite well underwater. You've also got a screw down crown. Now the pushers are not screwed down, so I don't suggest you press those if you do take this one diving. And like many other Fortis watches, that I've come across in the past, this one is completely overbuilt. 230 grams with the full bracelet or less than 200 if you have a small 6.1 inch wrist like mine. But it just suggests that for a watch that is not overly large with huge dimensions, it's a lot of, lot of heft. And uh, you can really feel it. It's quite a lot of weight in a relatively small package. Now, moving on to the dial, we've got this interesting pastel blue and silver color scheme that manages to be minimalistic without being sort of overly plain and boring. It reminds me sort of of the inside of a spaceship where everything is perfectly clean. There's no R markers on the dial at all, uh, yet it's very legible and quite easy for me to tell the time, really. We've also got these lovely syringe hands. Well. The minute hand is a syringe hand at least, pointing all the way out to the minute track with a short fence post hour hand. And interestingly, if you look at the very top 30 minute totalizer, uh, the hand is in the shape of a rocket with the triangular base, something we've seen previously with sort of space theme watches such as the Alaska Project from Omega and, and so on. Now for the dial itself, there's a sort of stippled texture all across. It is quite quite obvious in person, and it's ringed by this really lovely white rehort. And speaking of the rehort, and uh, I will in advance apologize for my probably awful pronunciation of German, it says at the top, just above the 12, Der Himmel ist nicht das Ende der Welt. The translation is basically, the sky is not the end of the world, which really drives forward the point of you know, this being a spacefaring watch. Now turning it over and moving on to, I guess the main star of the show here, the Work 17 caliber, the reason why this watch really is meant for space. It is a 26 joule, 60 hour power reserve, in-house uh, manufactured caliber. But interestingly, it's been developed in collaboration with La Juperet, a very well-known movement manufacturer. So if we look at the history of La Juperet and their manufacture of chronographs, we see that they were one of the first to extensively modify an ETA 7750 with a column wheel, eventually culminating in what it is today, an, the L100 chronograph movement, which shares a lot of similarities with the Work 17 in the Fortis. And finally, the last physical feature of this watch would be its lovely three-link bracelet. The links are quite chunky, which of course will add to the heft that we mentioned previously, but they've managed to make it beautifully articulate. And to help further with that wearability, we have this micro extension here, which is toolless, and uh, it gives you about one and a half links of adjustment. Now, in its functionality, very easy to use, and on a hot day, you can easily extend it. On a cold day, you can make it smaller, though it is not the smoothest operation that we've experienced. So really to sum this up, uh, Fortis has managed to make a really simple looking chronograph that avoids any unnecessary clutter on the dial with some cool small touches that you know you'll only you'll only notice if you really look it's built extremely well like any other forces swatches that i've had a look at in the past the only slight blemish being the slightly tinny feel of the micro just but we're just nitpicking here so what do you think of the Stratoliner? Are you familiar with Fortis watches? Was this your first look into it? We've not done too much coverage on it, but I feel like if they keep making products like this one, that will just continue. Let us know what you think in the comments and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.